Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy. Welcome back to another video. So today I've got something very exciting. Um, so the other day I went to the beach to hang out with my friend. And um, if you know anything about trying to find a parking spot at a busy beach in Florida because it's spring break, um, you know that you typically can't find a parking spot. And uh, me and my friend were only going to be there for about 30 minutes because we were just hanging out for a little bit and then we were going to go somewhere. Um, so I didn't really want to have to hassle with finding a parking spot. So I just went to a gas station and what's it called if you're a paying customer you're allowed to park there for at least 30 minutes whatever so i parked at the gas station i ran inside i was just gonna grab a random energy drink or whatever and i saw these they are dunkin donuts bakery series little iced coffee things this one is cake batter donuts this one is brownie batter donuts and this one is coffee cake muffin three flavors that all sound absolutely incredible um, I'm going to try them all and, uh, what's it called, give you my honest review of them. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through them individually one by one, try them, give you my first honest opinions and thoughts about them. And then at the end of the video, I'm going to rank the three amongst each other and then give them all a score rating on a scale of 1 to 10. So stick around for that if you want to know how good these are. But um, brownie batter is the one I'm going to say for last because the first ever iced coffee drink I've ever had in my life was a brownie batter thing. And it's actually part of the reason why I'm absolutely obsessed with brownie batter stuff. Um, and then I'm going to do cake batter. I'm going to start off with coffee cake muffin. I'm expecting this to kind of taste like a churro. Because coffee cake muffins, for the most part, I'm pretty sure are like cinnamon sugar flavored, basically. So, I have high expectations for these. It exploded a little bit when I opened it. Which I should have expected. But in my defense, they say shake before you drink them. So, I was shaking them. Okay. Cheers. Ow. Okay, I want to say right off the bat that the coffee flavor in this is actually, like, really strong coffee. Like, this actually tastes like real deal coffee. I would assume that this is, like, Colombian roast or some roast that's actually a strong coffee. It's pretty good. Um, I'm also wondering, because I did not check, how much caffeine is in these? Uh, caffeine content, 141 milligrams. That's not bad. Um, 200 calories per can. It's an 11 ounce can, so that's kind of a lot. Um, fats, total sugars is 30 grams of sugar, so it's also a lot of sugar, but this one's absolutely delicious. I like this one. Very strong coffee flavor. Um, what's it called? I can taste like little hints of cinnamon, but it's not very strong. I like it though. I think that that one's re really good. Um, next one, we're going to try the cake batter donut one. Um, something that really caught my attention with these is, um, the designs of them are actually really cute. Uh, what's it called? So, props to Dunkin' Donuts for whoever made these little designs, because I love them. Okay. Okay, this is kind of disappointing. This tastes exactly like that one. Like, they taste exactly the same. There doesn't taste to be, like, a major distinction between the two of them. It tastes like coffee. If you like coffee and you like a little bit of sweetness, it's good. But um, there is no distinct coffee batter, I mean, cake batter flavor to this. Just tastes like a good iced coffee. I'm not going to lie. That tastes like just a regular French vanilla iced coffee. If you like French vanilla iced coffee, you'd like that. Um, it's, I mean, it's not bad. Once again, I'm pretty sure it's probably the same caffeine count, but I just want to double check. Um, this one actually has less caffeine. This one's 135. It's not a lot less, but it's still less, and I think that that's a little weird. Um, last but not least, I'm hoping this one actually has more of a distinct flavor, because if not, and all the these just kind of taste the same, I will be a little sad. But, I'm going to shake it aggressively, and then wait a second to open it, because maybe my problem is that they're not mixed in enough, and all the flavor's on the bottom. I don't really know. I'm going to open this, and that's going to make a giant mess. Okay. Uh. Okay. I'm going to try this now. Cheers. Ow. This tastes like a good mocha iced coffee. Does not taste like necessarily like brownie batter, but very good. Chocolatey. Delicious. I'm going to say this, and this might sound wrong, 
This might actually be one of the best tasting ice mochas I think I've ever had. Because the coffee in this is very strong. The chocolatey flavor is very good. Um, I would definitely say that this is better than any iced coffee I've ever actually gotten from Dunkin' Donuts. Um, and then I would also argue that this is better than any iced coffee that I've gotten from Starbucks either. So, this is very solid. Um, very chocolatey. Once again, doesn't taste like brown and better, but it's chocolatey and it tastes like real coffee. So, it's pretty good. I love that. <laughs> That was definitely my favorite. So now to rank them all, um, I would say this one is probably the middle one. So this one's second best. This is the worst. This one's the best. Um, I, I do think that they're all pretty good. And the coffee flavor for these is really good, especially since they're just a drink that you're getting out of a can. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say this one's going to get a solid 7.1 rating. This one's going to get a solid 7.6 rating. And this one's going to get a solid 9 rating, a solid 9 um, I think that they're all really good. I think that for the price, they're relatively good because they're each about $2, which isn't necessarily a lot, but the little Frappuccino Starbucks thingies that used to be $1.50 are now like $2.50 or something like that. So this being slightly cheaper than it and tasting much better, very good. My only thing about this is I haven't found these anywhere aside from that specific gas station, so they might be a little uncommon, but this was absolutely delicious. And if you can find them one day, I definitely recommend trying them. I think that these are really good. Um, but that being said, that's it for this video, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Bow.